just got this root grapple. I'm gonna test this out. I got a couple projects I gotta use this for coming up. I don't have much to test it out here, but let's find something to test it out before we bring it on the project. So here's the story behind this. I went to go get a rock grapple this morning. I was going to travel four hours each direction. So it's a whole day worth of driving just to get this rock grapple. And the one that I wanted was very specific. I wanted one that had a straight front here, not curved up like this. And then I wanted the tines spaced about three inches apart. I wanted three eighths tines, which these are three eighths, but these are spaced eight inches apart. And I wanted to be able to use it as a rock bucket for around here. I wanted to be able to scoop up all the rocks so I could start growing grass here. The one I was looking at specifically was very heavy duty. The problem that I found was that it weighed like a thousand pounds. And I think it was just overkill for this skid steer. And I wanted it to be able to do two jobs at once. I wanted it for gathering up brush and trees and stuff, as well as sifting the rocks out of the good dirt. So I wanted the flat bottom for the rocks because that way you can just, just angle it just slightly down and it'll just go right through. It'll comb through and get the rocks. 
This one, you really have to angle it way down to get it into the ground to where you want. And also the, the time spacing is much further apart. So a lot of these rocks are not going to be scooped up by this. But the reason I got this one was because it was quite a bit cheaper than the other one. And I figured instead of trying to do two things with one attachment, I'll take the money that I saved from it and go buy a rock bucket as well. So that way I have both of them. And then I'm not trying to do two things with one attachment that's really not meant to do either one of them. The problem with that attachment was it weighed too much. This only weighs like 600 pounds. That other one weighed like a thousand pounds. So there's 400 pounds that you can decrease from your available load limit. But I got this for a very specific project coming up. And I'm not going to tell you guys about it because it's kind of a surprise. But I wanted to get prepared for it. So I wanted to get this. And now I also need a rock bucket so that I can start grading off around here. And to get that rock right there, I was kind of struggling because... You got to really tip it down for those teeth to be in the right direction and then when you tip it down these are like right on top of the rock so it's it's kind of weird but i really haven't run one of these so maybe i just got to get used to it and i'm sure it'll work for brush pretty good which is mainly what i need it for small trees and brush and stuff just cleaning it up the way that these teeth and tines are set up they are very stout there's like a gusset so that you can't bend them this way and there's also a pretty big gusset on the bottom part of the tooth so that they can't bend this way so really these things shouldn't break off that easily and then you also have this steel right here which ties everything together All right, so that was pretty annoying having to pick all those rocks out of there and I still got a lot of them left here I could probably make do with what I got here But that was a full bucket of rocks that I had to pick out by hand and that's just one load of dirt I brought over and There's still a lot left So I think I'm gonna go get a rock bucket and that'll make this a lot easier
the heavy duty one, you gotta make sure that you don't get the one with the quarter inch tines if you're running a machine like this, because this is three eighths and then there's half inch cutting edge, I guess you could call this right here. And then this bar over here is half inch and then the sides are three eighths and then this tube I think is also three eighths thick. And then you got these little parts right here which kind of let the rocks go in but not go back out. That way when you're going along you gotta tilt it down at a slight angle but if you have a lot of rocks in there they'll just fall out. So that's why that's in there so it helps it so they don't fall out. But I'd be happy just to get a half a bucket of rocks at a time. I don't really need it to be crazy efficient. Just I just gotta do something because I could pay for thousands of dollars with the topsoil or I could just buy this. I think this is like $1,700 brand new with tax and everything. And I just went like an hour away and picked it up. So I think I'm going to see a lot more use out of this than I will the grapple. But the grapple is more for like clearing land and stuff. So I got all this dirt that I'm putting around my foundation here. And it's just filled with rocks. So let's see if we can get some of these out. And then I also have a place to put them.
but it's a few yards of rocks right there and that's only what 10 minutes of running it there's a lot of rocks in there that i didn't even realize were there just a few inches below the surface i did find though that if you keep too many rocks in there it kind of slows down the dirt from falling out the bottom so you should really only grab like a quarter of a bucket at a time and then and then put it somewheres and then keep going that lets the dirt pass through the quickest it still did allow some rocks like this to go through which are too big for like the lawnmower to be dealing with but but at the same time if the tines were closer together it would get clogged up a lot quicker so i think the three inch tine spacing is perfect I think the thing to do is get a big pile like this and then get rid of the pile into the dump truck or something or whatever and don't go a long distance with it just do it right where you're working and then get rid of it all at once because then I could just pick up a full scoop because most of the dirt is out of it. it seems to be holding up pretty good though kind of actually works better than I thought it would I knew I needed one, but I didn't know if it was going to work or not. amazing how many rocks were just underneath the surface that I tracked over and flattened out because I I seem to dig up a lot of them that weren't even there when I started so now I end up with a lot less fill here so now I got to go get a couple more loads of fill I think where this thing's really gonna shine though is when I dump the load of fill here when I go to spread it out I can be picking rocks out as I'm spreading it out see before with my bucket I was just pushing around the rocks and if you're lucky, you have a spot where you can keep pushing them to that's downhill, but sometimes that's not the case. So in this case, I don't really have a spot here.
that's at least half rock maybe even more not a lot of dirt but there also is a lot of clay clumps here so that bucket's probably going to filter these out where I don't really need to because they can kind of smash up into the ground there's actually a lot of those that's all clumps but there's still a lot of rocks at least half of this is rocks so as I'm spreading it out I'm gonna try to pick these rocks out and I guess you could put them in the dump truck but then it's just a whole nother step to dump them so I'm just gonna put them in a pile normally when I'm spreading these piles out I track over it and it pushes in the rocks to the ground it smushes them in so a lot of times you don't even see them and it works pretty good and then you can top it with something else but I'm at the point right now where I'm kind of at the top layer so I don't want to keep doing that I want to actually get like a finished grade and then just sprinkle some topsoil on the top instead of putting three or four inches on because some of these rocks are they're like icebergs they're like right below the surface but still there's a few inches sticking up some of them are huge too but there's only a little bit sticking up so if you coat it with topsoil it's fine but topsoil is super expensive so I'm gonna try to just sprinkle the topsoil on the top and get most of these rocks out.
So I tried to finish this off with the rock bucket on, but I think it was just easier just to put the other bucket back on. That way you can backlate it and not be catching the rocks on the way back. There's still a lot of rocks in here, but they're a lot smaller. And I probably took three yards of rocks out of here, and that's not even close to all of them. There's still a lot left. So that dump body on that dump truck is eight yards. I probably have it heaped up to maybe 10 yards. So three yards out of that, that's almost a third. Count the other rocks and I'm well over halfway, 50, over 50% 50 rocks. There's just a lot of rocks around here. It's just the kind of nature, that's just the nature of this whole area around here. That's why that rock bucket comes in handy probably more than a lot of other places. A lot of you don't even ever see rocks, but we see nothing but rocks here. You know, one thing I'm thinking about now after using this a lot, I'm constantly tipping it up and shaking it a lot. So if this did have the grapple on it, that would be rather annoying because that all the moving parts in the grapples would be clinking all the time. And it's probably going to wear it out a lot more too, a lot quicker. So there's just a lot more moving parts. It's a lot heavier. So... I was really kicking myself for going and get that grapple and then getting this separate, but you know, I think it's for the better, honestly. It cost me a little bit more money, but I think I have a better setup for both separately. And obviously with the quick connect, it's not really hard to just keep switching back and forth. I just got to know when to put this bucket down and pick up the other one. I think one thing that really helped with this rock bucket that I didn't understand at first was that when you're going into a pile and getting rocks, you keep pushing a bigger pile as you go and all of a sudden at the end towards the building I got a huge pile so I started experimenting a little bit and what I figured out is when you go into the pile you like leave it flat on the ground and then back up and then lift it up and shake it that way you bring some of the stuff back otherwise you just keep pushing it forward so you go in at a very shallow angle and once it's kind of full you just drive backwards and then lift it up and shake it off. So even though we didn't get to test that that thoroughly, we did a little bit more testing on this. In conclusion, I believe that there's a very good purpose for both of these. Even though this is brand new, there's still some clanking in it. Which I'm not knocking it for that. I'm just saying that's another reason why it's good not to have that on there. That way when you're sifting through rocks for hours on end, you're not hearing that. And you're not wearing it out too. So I paid $2,200 for that and $1,700 for that. All together, I got almost four grand, which depending on what company you go with, the one with the grapple on that setup there, some of them are over four grand. So that's not too bad of a deal. I did call up a lot of the popular companies and I wanted to order one, but they were like eight to 10 weeks to 12 weeks. Some of them were even longer than that. I just don't feel like waiting that long. I wanted to just use a lot of these rocks to put around this tree right here because if you put fill around the tree, it'll kill it. But if you put rocks that drains water, then you can keep the tree alive, which any trees that we can keep alive around here is good. When I get some extra money, I may buy a bucket that incorporates both of these together because I'm still really not happy about the way this curves up like this. I imagine if people were just using it for like logs and stuff, it'd be all right. But when you're trying to get brush off the ground, you're at such an extreme angle. I just, I don't think that's really 
great on a skid steer either. Imagine punching something with your fist. If your wrist is straight like this, it can absorb a lot of energy. But if, if you go to punch something and your wrist is like this, you're, you're probably gonna break your wrist. And that's the same thing with right here. If this is at a really extreme angle like this, and you're digging along, that could really, could really damage something. Maybe not, maybe it's built for that, but I think it's not a great idea to do that all the time. So as far as skimming the ground, you gotta really be careful with this one. That one, you can just have it straight on. That's why I thought that design on this grapple would have been really good. But there is a lot of extra steel on there that's not really necessary if you're not using it for a rock bucket. I suppose they do make one that has this many tines and it's straight out. Both of these buckets are pretty good quality as far as I can see. But I wasn't going to accept anything less. I don't want any quarter inch anything on these. I think the only thing that's quarter inch is this right here. This is a pretty big gusset though. So like I said, I have a job coming up for this and actually since I got it, I got another job for it. So I got two jobs, but one is for myself and this one is for here. And I don't think I need this on either one of them, but it probably doesn't hurt to bring it along anyways. Because anywhere is within like a 50 mile radius from here has just nothing but rocks. So those jobs are right around the corner. So I'll see you guys on some of those videos.